Hello and welcome to this video on social change and social movements. Let's start with a definition. Social change is the transformation of culture and social institutions over time. The rate of change has never been faster than it is now. And let's take a look at some social change in the US comparing the year 1910 to 2010. And you can see, for examples, that the national population has gone up significantly, so has life expectancy and median age. We also have a larger share of homes that have flushable toilets, and the divorce rate has gone up. The process of social change has four major characteristics. Social change happens all the time but will vary based on what type of society it is. The more technologically advanced, the quicker the social change. Social change is something sometimes intentional, but often unplanned. A good example is the invention of the automobile. Now we can go long distances, hotels have been created, but unfortunately we put large amounts of carbon dioxide into the air. Social change is controversial. People disagree on how we ought to live and what we should welcome as progress. And social changes matter more than others. For example, the invention of the computer has had a much more significant impact on society than clothing fads. There are several causes of social change, culture and change, conflict and change, ideas and change, demographic change, collective behavior and change. Let's look at each of these in detail. According to sociologist William Ogberg, when it comes to culture and change, there are three important sources of cultural change. Inventions. An invention is the combination of existing elements and materials to form new ones. Examples would include rocket propulsion to explore the universe. Discovery is a new way of seeing reality. Examples would be medical discoveries and advances. Diffusion is the spread of an invention of, or discovery from one area to another. And examples would be many familiar aspects of modern life, such as clothing and clocks, come from other lands. Conflict and change. Inequality and conflict within a society, such as racism, sexism, and homophobia, also produce social change. Ideas and change. Social change can occur because of ideas. Demographic change. For an example, there's an increasing elderly population, an increase in fewer people identifying with a religious group, and changes in immigration patterns. Collective behavior and change. Collective behavior is defined as activity involving a large number of people that is unplanned, often controversial, and can bring about change. Collective behavior involves people in collectives such as crowds, mobs, and riots. Let's move on and talk about forms of collective behavior, such as riots, panics, moral panics, rumors, fads and fashions, and urban legends. These forms of collective behavior is ordinary people responding to extraordinary situations. Riots are violent crowd behavior aimed against people and property. A panic is behavior that results when people become so fearful that they cannot function normally and may even flee. Moral panics occur when large numbers of people become so fearful 
about some supposed deteriorating condition in society that it is difficult for them to carry on normal life. Rumors, fill in missing information. Fads and fashions. A fad is a novel form of behavior that briefly catches people's attention. Whereas fashion is when a fad lasts. And we have urban legends. Our stories with an ironic twist that sounds realistic but are false. And finally, we have four types of social movements. Social movements are organized activities in which large numbers of people organize to promote or resist social change. Social movements can be classified according to their target, either individuals or society, and the amount of change, either partial or total, that they seek. We have alternative social movements that seek only to alter some particular behavior of people. Redemptive social movements seek to target specific individuals, but they seek radical and thorough change. Reformative social movements seek to reform some aspect of society. And finally, transformational or revolutionary social movements seek to transform the social order itself and replace it with a new version. Thank you for joining me for this video and I hope to see you back again soon. Bye-bye.